Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of the Old McDonald Legacy Challenge. And um, this week, Amber has, she's done all she was supposed to do because um, she has completed her aspiration. She's maxed out the fishing and the gardening skill. She spends at least an hour every day in the garden. And did I mention you'd maxed out her aspiration? I think I did. So yeah, so she's done everything she's supposed to do for this generation. And at the end of the last episode, Mitch and Amber were trying to see if they can get generation two. So I don't know what's going to happen, but let's see. Right, Mitchell, you're in the bathroom. You can bathe the dogs. Give bath to Ginger because both dogs are smelly. They've got stink clouds coming off them. They've got fleas. They've got all kinds of weird stuff. Amber, what are you doing? You're happy because you've had tea. What else? Uh, just from having smelly dogs. We should have another bathtub. I think that might be a good thing to do. Who's... Uh, yeah. Oh, didn't we have clothes in the machine? Can you upgrade stuff? I need level six handiness. We were doing the um the flower 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 arranging, but that really didn't take off, did it? Should we try doing woodworking instead? That might help because that will bring up your handiness skill. We certainly have enough money for it. And she needs something else to do. Let's get a woodworking table. Yeah, what's that? The definitive. I have no idea what that is or where it came from. But we can put it out. Is it... Are they candles? The candles, okay. But that's not what we came in for. We want a woodworking table. Woodworking table in creative. Alright, that's what we want. Let's just stick that out on the lawn. And let's put this in our inventory. Because you never know, somebody, another generation might want it. Oh, I keep flipping it round. Right. So that's that. Mitchell is washing the dogs. Amber, you come. Cross and furniture. Yes, garden pots. Do garden pots and garden planters. That would make sense. And then later generations, if they want to, because I don't think any of the later generations have to farm. But if they want to, they can have plants and stuff. Which I think is a good idea. And it will probably bring up her handiness skill. Right, Mitchell, you can bathe the other dog. Give bath to Rhea. Yeah, you're hungry. You know, suck it up. Go and give, a, give your dog a bath. And Amber, you were busy. Well, you're energised. You're in a really good mood. Amber's really bouncing, which is good. Okay, Mitch, you are... All right, the finished woodwork had been placed in the household inventory. Let's have a look. Ooh, a normal garden pot. So what does that look like? Okay, I guess we can put the finished ones outside. We're going to end up with a whole set of garden pots. But that's fine. Can you buy seeds from that? Oh, you can buy seeds from it too. Okay. I didn't know that. Alright, Amber, are you tired? You want to... Well, you want to use the toilet. You're hungry and your energy's low. Okay. 
but I think that but I mean we've done we've done pretty well because we've got everything that we needed to do for the first generation Amber why are you oh your bladder um Mitchell you are going to go for go make some food um do we have any no we don't have any leftovers Amber, you're going to go use the toilet. And we need someone to clean up these puddles because the dogs will just keep rolling in it and just being dirty. Okay, we don't have any. Yeah, Mitchell is definitely not a neat freak. He's a slob. So that's not working. Happy. All right. Are the dogs fighting? I don't know what they were doing. I just saw a... Mitch, what are you doing? What level is his cooking? I've never really noticed. He's in the culinary career, but I have no idea. Um, It's at least cooking three. Cooking level six. Okay. So it's not as far down as I thought it would be. Okay, Amber, you have... Have you eaten? You have eaten. You need to go and sleep. Uh, sleep. But not by leaving your food on the table. Put that in the... So, Mitch is off today. Yeah, because today's Wednesday. He's in the middle of his days off. He doesn't he doesn't work till Friday. So maybe we should get them to go and do something. I mean, they could go to Solani again. Go spend the day on the beach or something. Just something relaxing. Now they're both sleeping. Right, Amber, you need to get up and... You're hungry again? You need to... Let me see. Didn't I just put the leftovers in the fridge? I guess there wasn't enough leftovers. I could have sworn I put leftovers in the fridge. Okay. Um... Have breakfast. Pancakes. Pancakes were as good. Why are you sad, Amber? From... Oh! Ooh! My body, it's terrible. From being pregnant, what's happened to Amber's figure? Looks like we were successful. That's a... Um, a... A moodlet from the Slice of Life mod. I'm not sure I agree with my body, it's terrible. I mean, I know some people feel like that. They just feel that they're all fat and like a whale. But, um, but yeah, Amber's not even showing yet. We haven't even got the official pop-up that she's pregnant. So, should we go to the beach? All right, who's calling you? <laughs> I'm having a cookout. I guess that's what we'll do. We'll go to a cookout. Uh, bring Amber. Let's bring everybody. Okay, so where is the cookout? We've got a campfire going. Uh, grill. Breakfast scramble. And Amber, where are you? You are... Yeah, we don't even have the official pop-up yet. Which I find is very interesting. So seeing that we haven't had the official pop-up, I will just mark this down to Amber's hormones being all over the place. So yeah, she has a suspicion 
and she thinks she might be but she's not sure and we will get an we will get an, an official confirmation soon right where are you you are okay you're not grilling oh is this where it's supposed to be okay amber where have you are oh, you going over here How long are you going to be sad for? Two hours. Okay, can we call the sadness hotline and get rid of that mood look? Uh, sadness hotline. No. Play the guitar from being sad. Uh, grill chicken. No, don't grill any chicken. Um, call the sadness hotline. She wants to be, oh, she wants to get to know Mitchell. They're married and possibly have a child on the way. And she wants to get to know him. Right, does that get rid of the sadness? Oh, it's going down. That is the most bizarre winter outfit I've ever seen. Yeah, any the, anybody that wears sleeveless um, outfits in the middle of winter. They're made of so stronger stuff than I am. Usually during the winter I'm bundled up. Because I mean it gets cold. Harvest Fest is tomorrow. Okay. That's good. You're still sad. I thought we were getting rid of the moodlet. Yeah, who else is here? Do you know these people? Uh, friendly introduction. Friendly. Who's he? Who are you? In Inele Metti? Nancy Landgrab? Katrina Huntington the third. Who else do we have? Bjorn Borgson. Clara Borgson, that's his wife. And Liliana Kialoa. So we got quite a diverse set of people. Okay, why are you dazed? Oh, crying. She's dazed from crying. All right, you. You're not even like really kind of hungry. Are you emotionally eating, Amber? You're just looking. Is that grilled fruit? Yeah. Okay, what are you going to do now? Are you going to watch this dude playing horseshoe? Gavin Richards. Because it's bitterly cold and what else do you want to do? Go outside and watch somebody play horseshoe in the cold. Everyone's enjoying themselves. Fire ants. View them. View the butterfly. Oh yeah, see, inside's nice and warm. That's what you want. What's happening at the cookout? Are there any goals? Not really. Well, maybe you can you can join the game. Because, I mean, that's a thing. Where is... No, that's not Mitch in the bathroom, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Who are you? You are, I you are Inele. Well, everyone looks like they're having fun. Oh, that's probably why... They wanted to play the guitar because there's a guitar on the lot. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Amber, your bladder is going down. What's this? Fireflies? Rainbow firefly. Well, at least she's happy. She's enjoying herself. Mitchell, you are cooking more stuff. Your tents from. Okay, somebody's bugging you. 
And he wa oh, he wants to woohoo with Amber. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe they could sneak upstairs. All right, is everybody going to run and and react to the first snow? Because oh, look, there's white flakes falling from the sky. He wants to nap lazily. Where is Amber? You're still talking to Clara. I know you're not. Oh, there is no. There is. There is an upstairs. Oh, there's a viewing platform. Okay. It's not what we want. Oh, the cookout's finished now. That's why. Well, Mitch seems to have fallen into a food coma. Amber at least had fun. Yeah, but she's getting tired. She wants to use the toilet. I think it might be time to go home. Go on, Mitch, go home. Wake up. Time to drive back. Okay, Amber's already inside. Is it raining? It's not raining. Right, Amber, go use the toilet and start tending to your crops. Well, go on. But after you've done that, we need you to tend to your crops. Um, Supercell. 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 We're making almost three grand off our crops, which is awesome. Come on, Amber, put a little bit of a hustle on it. I know you're not feeling well, but you know, you still go do everything as normal. Okay, do. Alright, um, tent garden. And that, of course, is going to take you another hour. But, you know, we got to do it. Has to be done. She's a farmer. I know you're tired. Look, you've got some stuff to weed over here. Come on. Talk to the plant. No, weed. Otherwise, you'll come back to dead plants. And you haven't worked. Oh, do we have stuff that needs evolving? No. While you're sleeping, Amber, let's evolve these things. I think that's it. I think that was it. What are these trees on the end? Lemon trees, they're in season. Okay. Next time we're going to have to remember to um, to collect the produce and not just sell them. Okay, you're excited because you're enjoying the toilet. See, the dogs are dirty again. On clothing. Oh, there you go. There's the official notification. Chat with Mitchell. Sweet. She came up to him, gave him a kiss, and then told him, we're having a baby. That is very sweet. And they both seem very happy about it, which is, which is good. So that means then we have to decide what we're going to do with the baby. Are we going to add another... Are we going to add an upstairs? Are we going to spread out behind the kitchen? Ooh, the possibilities. 
I think we could add an upstairs if we yeah if we add a whole new floor and knock down these walls so we have one big living living dining room and then upstairs we have enough space to put the bath leave a bathroom downstairs have another one upstairs and have enough space to have at least a couple of bedrooms and an office a home office is that our dog? no that's Stella Stella's not well and they're smoky I think that might be the best thing to do yeah I think so and then we'll leave we'll leave the conservatory roof here or maybe we might just take it off, I don't know. Oh, I don't know the possibilities. Okay, what does he... Oh, that's from... Oh, yes, he wanted to woohoo with Amber. She... Oh, she's sleeping. Somehow, I don't... Oh, Ginger's sleeping on her back. She looked like a pile of dirty clothes. <laughs> that's not a good thing. Uh, do we need to feed the animals? No. Rhea wants to feed the love. You can feel the love. Everybody loves you, Rhea. Mitchell, have you really just gone and left the food on the stove to go and sleep? No, 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 no. Resume the pasta and then go to sleep. You don't want to burn, I mean, I know we're supposed to be changing up the house, but you don't want to go and, and burn it down before we've even had it. Oh, well maybe, for Amber's new aspiration, let's, um, let's change it to a family one. Let me see. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. Family. Super parent. I've become a parent. I think super parent would be a good one. Go into full parent mode, whatever that is. Never done that one before. Alright, I think we will pick that for Amber's aspiration because big happy family because she's only supposed to have one child so we're not doing that I think we'll go for super parent and I think what we will do we will extend the house up so as I said I will knock through this whole room so it's a big kitchen diner kitchen diner slash I don't know have the stairs here I think I'll probably put the stairs on this side along where this wall is and there, so then people so you can still get into the bathroom have a downstairs bathroom I might chain I might put this in a shed outside and have this room as like a playroom maybe where the kids have all their toys downstairs I think that might work I think that might work but it basically means we have to gut downstairs do we will we have enough do we have a money tree we don't have a money tree Although Amber doesn't have enough to get a money tree. And neither does Mitchell. Okay, but that's okay. She makes enough from her... Let me see. A baby kick from being pregnant. Morning sickness from being pregnant. What trimester is she in? She's 
still in the first trimester, so she's not going to really feel the baby kick. Especially when it's your first child, you really don't feel it in your first trimester. Some people do, but on a whole, it's kind of like if you've never been pregnant before, you're not really aware of what's happening. So you might actually feel it, but you don't know that's what it is. But, um, all right, it's five in the morning. Uh, if you throw up, I think that gets rid of the morning sickness. Um, moodlet? No, that didn't. Oh, it's Harvest Fest. All right, we'll clean. Do we have any? Oh, we got more stuff to evolve. And that needs to evolve. Anything else? That's all sparkly. Have we done the sparklies? We have. Okay. Um, harvest everything. Oh, she's too uncomfortable to do that. Oh, we need to set the... We need to turn off the phone. Not the phone, the fan. Turn off the fan. Where is the thermostat? Do we not have a thermostat? Oh. I thought we did. Okay, let's put on the thermostat. Yeah, let's put in the thermostat pretty quick. And you know what? Amber's not really showing either. She doesn't have a bump. I realised since she went to Solani and had been sunbathing, her physique changed. Which is very interesting. She got a, she got a lot slimmer and she stayed slim. I don't know if that is a a bug or something. Thermo. But she went she went um she went sunbathing, came back slim, stayed slim, and she looks very muscular as well. And I'm pretty sure that's a bug. All right, set it to warmer. Can't have you living in a cold house. How many more days in, in autumn? Okay, we've got two more days. And I think most of these... Uh, all right, harvest all. I think most of these are spring, summer, spring and autumn stuff. I don't think there's any winter stuff. Um, I'm seeing lemons on the trees, harvest lemons. Too uncomfortable, okay. Are you going for food? Yeah, you are. And we have a dirty dog on the floor. Right, eat your food. How we have a thousand, how we have 500 simoleons on kid stuff? What kid stuff do we have? Oh, there's the gnomes. We need to appease the gnomes. And to be honest, I can never remember what, which gnome wants what. However, there is a very handy infographic from the ladies at the Under the Plum Bob podcast. I can never say that fast, <laughs> but they have um, they have a really cool infographic. I'll have to put a link in the description, and that lets you know which um, which gnome takes what. All right. But I really, I'll have to have a look around for it because I don't think I have it. I'm here looking on my phone because I think I saved it. I saved it on my phone. That's how handy it is. I just save it on my phone. Where's the gnomes gone? I looked down for two seconds. 
And they've all gone. Where are they gone? Oh, they're in the kitchen. Okay, so we have Ghost Gnome. He likes fruitcake. Who likes fruitcake? Uh, fruitcake. Bunny Gnome. He likes salad. That makes sense. Uh, salad. And you, uh, this guy, he likes fruitcake. Not fruitcake, he likes Future Cube. He looks like, actually, he looks like the Ood. So, Ood no Gnome. Yes, Ood Gnome, you can have a Future Cube. Oh, we need to decorate the house. We haven't decorated the house yet. Do we have a set of decorations? I don't know if we do. Um, not seeing any deck. I don't think we've had any major holidays where we've had to decorate yet. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, there's the decoration box. And let's change the colour because I don't like those colours. Blue. Oh. Amber's very flirty. Why are you very flirty? Oh, from thinking about stuff. Uh, put up decorations. Very festive. And cook a grand meal. But it's 10 in the morning. Mitch, you can cook. You, you don't like putting up the decorations? Because he's lazy. <laughs> That is so funny. All right, let's have a ham dinner. All right, let's cook a ham dinner. Amber, you, what are you doing? Oh, you're cleaning the sink. All right, cool. You can call somebody and be, and be thankful. Actually, let's invite some people over. Let's have, let's see. Who do we want to invite over? Friends, we've got the flower bunny. Can we invite the flower bunny over? No. All right, let's just pick some people. Not Johnny Pest. Actually, I'm really shocked that he hasn't been calling. Seeing that he made himself such a nuisance the last couple of episodes. Okay, now we don't want to join the powerhouse. Let's see. Mitchell, you have... No, that is... That's your club. I thought you were part of a club. That's interesting. You have all these people that are part of the club, but they're not showing up on your panel. Or maybe he just doesn't know them. Okay, let's invite. Um, invite to hang out at local at the lot. So Inele, Liliana, Zoe, Jay Huntington, Gavin Richards. And. Everybody's coming now. Where is everybody? Um, okay, the meal is there. Everybody's here. Where is everyone? Well, Amber, you can call everybody to grand meal. So you can get that. Oh. 
And now that everybody's here and they're all sitting down and they're all very happy and we should have got some more plates and yeah we should have gotten another table to put down or something. Now everybody's here and they're having fun this is where I'm going to leave everything. So thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay thanks for watching bye bye.